not guilty. That is the jury's decision in the manslaughter trial of former Temple police officer Carmen DeCruz. That's right. The jury took roughly two hours to decide that DeCruz did not break any laws in the deadly shooting of Michael Dean on December 2nd, 2019. Fox 44's Hannah Hoover sat in the courtroom during most of the trial. Hannah, what was the reaction when the jury gave its verdict? Adam and MG, there were a lot of emotions and outbursts right after the verdict was read. The Dean family obviously very upset. During closing arguments, prosecutors pleaded with the jury to look at the evidence and find a Cruz guilty of manslaughter. They called his actions during the traffic stop that dark Monday night reckless and that he did not follow police policy when it came to a pursuit or handling his firearm. The defense countered by saying the state failed to provide video analysis of the body and dash cam video. They argued it showed DeCruz's finger in the index position on the gun, not on the trigger when walking to the passenger side of Dean's car. We've expected this for three years. We've been dealing with a prosecutor's office that has refused to analyze evidence, that has hidden evidence from the public, that has been less than honest with the facts of their case that is out to tell a story and not get to the truth in the case. And we've been um, we've been fighting for years for Carmen's freedom in this case. And we knew this was going to come. We we're shocked it even took two hours to get to this point. The Dean family has filed a wrongful death lawsuit against a cruise, and that is still outstanding. Coming up on Fox 44 News at six, we'll hear from a representative of the Dean family. Hannah Hoover, Fox 44 News.